Well, cancer can change your life and those around you. That's why the St. Baldrick's organization is doing what it can to raise money in detecting and curing it. Joining us in studio to talk about this event is Alan Moreau. And thank you so much for joining us because this really is uh, a crucial issue. We're talking a lot about childhood cancer, and you have your own personal stare story that you'd like to share with us. I do. Um, back in 2005, my daughter died of brain cancer, Lexi Moreau, and uh, this is her. And we basically have been involved ever since. And what we do is we gather groups of people and teams and anybody that's willing to raise money and shave their heads for the cause. And uh, this year, the event is actually going to be really large. Um, I've been doing it here in Utah for four years, but this year we're already up to almost six thousand dollars that we've raised, and. Uh, it's a wonderful cause. I've got honorary families that's going to be there with their children that have cancer this year. I've got two doctors from Primary Children's that's going to be there talking with us also. And we're going to have Irish dancers, bagpipe players, we've got car smash, face paint, raffle. It's a wonderful cause. Yeah, one big party and about a very serious issue. You, you've raised quite a lot of money, the organization, at least you know, um, throughout the country. Talk a little bit about that and what the money is used for. Sure. All the money goes into the Children's Oncology Grants, which is actually used by hospitals all over the world. Um, in fact, it's even been used here in Utah. Primary Children's since 2005 has used over $200,000 of that money. Great. And what time does the event kick off? The event starts at 3 and it ends at 6. Well, we're going to kind of get things kicked off right here this morning. Um, you're going to actually uh, demonstrate here a, a haircut for us, see how it all works, get people and to come out and join us, right? She has actually raised over $1,000 already towards the event. Wow. That's great. Um, can anybody, if anybody's it, interested, anybody, participate? Anybody can come on down to the event. It's free to walk in the door. Um, and she is also doing a double donation. She will be donating her hair to Locks of Love as well. That is great. And are you finding it's not just people who you know are affected by cancer or have family members? It's, it's anybody, anybody. Anybody that has kids, you know, because it can happen to anybody. I was honestly one of those people that believed it would never happen to me. And it does. And it's, cancer takes the lives of a child every three minutes. Yeah, and this is really is a fun way to, you know, kind of bring it out in the open and get people involved. And Absolutely. Wow, so you've already doubled your, do you're doing a double donation, is that what you're saying? Yes. That's great. So why did you want to get involved? Uh, I had a little sister who had Hodgkin's. She beat it many years ago, and she's okay now, but I just wanted to donate to the cause and get involved. Great. And if people want to get involved with your organization, because I imagine you do things year-round, how we, can we find we, out about that? Well, we do. Every year we do this event right about this time, and uh, they can just get a hold of me. You can go to the website, which is uh, stbaldricks.org, mm -hmm. and uh, get a hold of me, and uh, we're definitely happy to have anybody on board. Great. Okay, one last time. Where is the event? What time does it start? It starts at 3 to 6, Club 90 in Sandy. It is a family-friendly event. We're going to have face painters for the kids. All right. Thanks so much for stopping by this morning and letting us know all about it. I appreciate it. Thank Thanks, you. Alan.